It's so weird how that big of a piece from Cylinder 3 literally made its way out the way it did. I don't, I don't get it. Science. <laughs> Alright, what's going on everybody? We're back for another video. Uh, as you can see, we got the turbo 2 valve here with the engine out of the car. It literally has not moved from this area in about three weeks time since we uploaded the video when we yanked everything out of the car. Um, so today, you know, we had some free time. We're going to dive in and take everything apart and confirm that there are no um, nicks or any major damage to the cylinder walls because I do want to reuse this block if possible. Um, based on a quick look on each side, um, they do look okay. Very surprisingly on cylinder three, that big of a piece came out, which how the hell does that not mess the bore up? I mean, I'll take it. So I could save money on the block. Um, but yeah, without further ado, we're just going to dive right into it, take everything apart and bring you guys along for the journey. So let's get into it. All right guys, so as you just saw, we pretty much just got everything out of the way. We got the little leftover of the wire harness, got the starter out of the way, um, the on three, what do they call that? The um, relocation. relocation kit, we got those lines out of the way, the oil feed line out of the way. The only thing we got left here is this uh, dipstick, which is falling apart. For some reason, it's being a little stubborn, so we're just gonna leave that in there for now. But um, what we're gonna do is turn this thing over, remove the oil pan bolts, hopefully, we find that piece of the freaking um, piston. If not, then it's long gone. I probably luckily got through the exhaust and and didn't damage the turbo, which was good, right? You guys inspected that, the turbine, the housing, everything was good there. So yeah, we're gonna rotate this and let's see what's going on. I think that's the thing I'm able to do. So as you saw, we removed the oil pan. I couldn't find that piece of uh, cylinder three piston in there, so we're hoping it went out through the exhaust. Um, no real metal shavings in there. I mean, when you guys drained the oil, you inspected there too and didn't really yeah, see much, didn't right? didn't look bad. So nothing left straggling in there. Uh, hopefully we can reuse that and weld that bung. But um, now what we're gonna do is remove this oil pickup tube. It's a 10 millimeter here and two eight millimeters here. And then after that, we're gonna remove the main caps we actually have our Hange manual, and it's the tightening sequence. As you can see, the front of the engine is here. We're following this diagram there. The front of the engine is um, this way. So we're going to remove, we're pretty much, this is the tightening sequence from one, we're going to do the opposite. So we're just going to start from 30 and work our way to one. Um, but yeah, let's just get this pickup tube out of the way. We'll, we'll start cranking, literally.
So as you saw, we got those side bolts out for the uh, main caps. But we're actually gonna uh, backtrack and actually take the piston on the rods out. Um, it's uh, 11 millimeters, and we're just gonna work from the front to the back and just get them out of the way, remove those. And we put the, uh, the balancer on just to make it a little bit easier to get those bolts that are hidden down below. So uh, let's start with uh, the front one. The pistons down here, as you can see, uh, I actually might not be able to see really much on camera, but this is like a very odd scenario because almost everything looks flawless. Other than that cylinder three chip right there, the bearings look good, the rods look good, even the cylinder walls, if you make our way over here, it's a freaking minefield, I'll roll this around. So you can see cylinder three here, Man, there is no nicks, scratches, really anything out of the ordinary. And I just, it's such an odd scenario. It makes it's, no sense. It's a shame, but like I'm kind of glad it wasn't a connecting rod and blow a hole right, right through, through the, the freaking side of the block, then the block would be toast, so. Yeah. It's so weird how that big of a piece from cylinder three literally made its way out the way it did. I don't, I don't get it. Science. Science. No, just kidding. I mean, kind of. <laughs> yeah, I guess in a way. But uh, going over cylinder four, one and two, nothing really out of the ordinary there. Even, you know, five, six, seven, and, and eight. It's just, this is a perfect block. It's, it's bizarre. Yeah. This is a perfect block. I, like, we could probably, we're most likely going to reuse it, get a machine shop, sandblast it, board, all that whole nine yards. But other than that, I mean, this is a, a really good block. It's got a hundred and what? hundred and ten thousand? hundred and ten thousand miles on yeah. it. It's just breaking in. <laughs> but um, yeah, so now what we're going to do is continue to gonna flip this back over. Yeah, I think it needs some oil. Yeah. Because it's just getting locked up. Yeah. Trust me, it's not me being weak. It's just yeah. getting I can see the up. guns. We're going to go this way. Yeah. I'm telling you. There we go. What are you telling the people? <laughs> Don't buy Harbor Freight. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Don't buy Harbor Freight. Um, now we're going to continue removing the uh, main caps. So before we get to that, pretty much what we're going to have to do is remove the jack screws. As you can see, it's that little thing right there, and they reverse thread it. So we're going to have to go in through the side screw holes and uh, use an Allen key and just pretty much um, tighten those the opposite direction. So it'll be right to loosen because you're going to push them in towards the middle. So we're going to do that now. We'll set you guys up on a time lapse and we'll pretty much after that we'll be able to take off the tops of the main caps and we'll be able to remove the main caps itself out and then we'll have the crankshaft exposed. We're probably going to have to remove this cover in the back which is connected to the rear main seal. It's a couple maybe seven millimeters. Get that out of the way and this thing will just come right out. Yep. And that's pretty much it. After that, we'll send it off to the machine shop, have it board probably 20 over, and yep. then have them clean everything up and uh, start ordering parts. So, pretty exciting. It is going to be uh, one insane build come springtime. Oh, yeah. We ain't messing around this time. So. No.
Damn, that thing's heavy. Really heavy. So we are officially done. This is the bare block right here. As you can see, we got the crankshaft over here. We got all our parts labeled, bagged up and everything. So nice and organized. Odds are we won't be reusing a couple of the parts because uh, we'll be getting new ones and stuff like that. But it is good just to bag it and have it. Um, but here's the crank. Heavy girl. Very heavy. Really visibly doesn't look like there's that much um, um, wear or yeah, anything. On the, on the but journals. Uh, yeah, good. exactly. The journals look good. The bearings looked good. Yep. Um, I didn't see any cracks. I mean, this is just upon quick glance. Everything we'll get into a little more off camera and see what's going on. But um, yeah, that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video. Um, this was pretty much just the teardown process. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or any tips, you comment that down below. But um, pretty much the next step is start ordering parts, get this sent off to the machine shop, like Wes said in the beginning, and uh, hopefully this thing could be start getting built relatively quick, maybe early winter. Uh, hopefully now, I don't know the turnaround time on a lot of these builders, but we'll try and keep you guys updated. Make sure you follow us on Instagram. We'll probably do a lot of uh, you know updates and stuff like that. But yeah, that's gonna wrap up today's video, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.